Hello everybody, Walters954 here, coming at you guys with the, I think the fourth, maybe fifth Python tutorial in our journey to figure out what the heck Python is. So um, in this video, we're going to kind of be going over the documentation. If you're ever a little bit confused about a function that I use or how the heck, how did I know that was there or something like that. So you can always go ahead and and refer back to the documentation to uh, get a better insight on what these functions that I'm doing do. So a lot of them I kind of go over, but there, it's nowhere close to how in depth the actual documentation on the function will be. So if you're come from the Java world like I am, you already know about the Java AV API. So um, or this is the documentation for it. So you can go in there. Normally, I don't even really go in that section of the documentation. I'll do Java, maybe integer class, and go ahead and click on the first link to see some of the uh, methods that I can use with the integer class. And there are good explanations on what it does, the size, and what it returns, and everything. But um, let's go ahead and move into the Python documentation. We can see here that you can select the version that you have because um, different versions, things break or things are not implemented yet. So if you don't actually know what version of Python you're running, you can go ahead and do import sys, which um, I haven't gone over import yet, so don't even worry about it for right now. And we will do print sys dot uh, version. There you go. And run it. And we can see I'm at 3.4.3, .3. anywhere in the 3.4 range, I should be golden. 3.4.4 is the latest one, but 3.4.3 will be just fine. So um, just making sure we're on the correct version. And last time I was having a little bit of trouble with the list function. So you can go ahead and type in lists here. But um, just like in Java, I wouldn't really actually do this. I would probably do Python list documentation spelled documentation wrong but that's okay and first one that comes up is the data structure one and this is here it is for the list so just make sure you're on the correct version of python everything should pretty much be the same at least for lists and um, you can see a lot of the functions that you can use when you have a list so let's go ahead and um work on that list that we were using last time. Here it is. Paste it in here. So what we'll probably do is uh, print this out. We will sort this list. Print, sorry, uh, list1.sort. Now this is the regular sort. So on here, you can actually see that there is this type of sort. And um, there's another type of sort called sorted. I don't know if it's on here or not. Sorted. Oh, here it is. It's more for, uh, it's a different kind of sort. So this this regular sort will um, sort it in order, basically, one, two, three, four, five. Or it's basically using a preset sort. So if it's alphabetical, do alphabetical. The other sort, you can uh, actually throw in different parameters for what you want it to sort on. So that's a little bit more advanced. I won't really run into that one for right now. So let's go ahead and uh, just print out list one. Let's go back to this one. So I'll run this and you can already see here that this one is sorted one, two, three, four, five. You can do the same thing. So we'll make a list and we'll call this lifts list uh, alphabet or just call it list two for right now. And um, we'll put strings s d. Sorry, gotta get through here. And what we're gonna do is call the same sort. And hopefully, let's do one more here. Hopefully, it will sort these correctly. So we'll print this list out, list two, and we will then sort list two, sort. And you can see here, oh, this one takes keys as well. Um, you can see here with the um, code completion, it actually shows you some of the things that it can take in. But um, for right now, we're not even passing in any parameters. And we'll go ahead and print list two. 
hopefully, yes, this will be sorted. A, B, C, D, D, you know, the regular American alphabet, whatever you want to call it. So that's all I had for you guys today. Um, we just went over, I guess, the quick fix on the figuring out the sorting uh, issue that we were having in tutorial two. And we went over some of the documentation. So, um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to check out some of my previous videos, getting a couple views on them now, which is really nice. And uh, going to be making a couple more in the future. So, we'll continue to make them. In the, um, the next one will probably be on for loops, which is uh, a little bit weird in Python, but we'll get through it. And you'll come to love for loops like how I do. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel to see up to upcoming videos. So.